It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107. Now you locked in with Reese. We're gonna get right to it. I got my brother from another in the building, the guy that gave us our first official friend of the show interview for the Reese show, man. My guy, Mr. Nigerian Butterscotch in the building, aka Mr. Mike Make Music That Your Girl Likes More Than She Likes You. <laughs> bro, Timmy is in the building. What's good, homie? My God, that's a phenomenal tag, bro. Hey, man, you might have to put it on some t shirts or pamphlets or something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And <laughs> shout out to you, man. You've been, you've been loyal and, and real since day one, man. So I appreciate you. Man, I appreciate you, bro. If y'all don't know, what you probably already do know, this is the, the voice of the intro song. This is the voice of Love Rhythm. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And the voice of the song that played last night at the end of Power. We're going to jump right into that. <laughs> Man, it was a lot of you last night on the show. Bro, you know, it hit me yesterday, too. Even after the show, we went to a little lounge, mm-hmm. and they were watching it because they were playing music. Right. right? So they were watching it with no sound, mm-hmm. with the subtitles. Then the show ended, so they playing the music on the show. Right. And then my song, my new single in my bed is playing in the lounge. That's a lot of road, Timmy. Bro, bro, I was like, whoa, so we're doing something. You know what I mean? Yes, and that was That was a moment for me. For sure. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Right now, we kicking it with Ro Timmy. We talking about his life yeah. right now. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, let's jump right into power. And then, spoiler alert, I'm telling y'all right now, if you haven't seen uh, Still Dre, that episode that aired last night, spoiler alert. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Um, it, it showed a lot of different layers of you. Yeah. Um, and it gave you room to do a lot of different uh physical things with your acting. Yeah. How did it feel when you were reading through the script and going getting ready to, to shoot? So people don't know that we get the script maybe like four days before. Mm. You know, so I had to learn sixty pages worth of work wow. in four days. And I've never done that before. I never first of all, I've never been in like a mini movie that's mm. all me. Yeah. And then also it would be I never had that much material so fast. So mm. when I read it I said, Wow, like they they show me so much love because I'm able to be happy, be sad, right. be scary, be hurt, be a dad, sing gospel music. Because right. that was, was like that? your first note you came in, you sing it to your daughter on yeah. the show and, and all of that. Yeah. That's it, what's up. It was love, man. And so the fact that we had that moment and people were really affected by the scene with Dre and his mom. Right. You know, and right. That pulled a lot out of me too. So it was mm. it was it was amazing. That has a lot to say when it's truth and words. Yeah. Uh you you kind of spit on that. I'm glad you guys touched on that because a lot of kids are dealing with that right now. 100%. People are telling them they're something and then they end up being it. Yeah. And it's cool because people were able to see why Dre was damaged. Mm-hmm. You know, like the reason why, because you were told you ain't nothing. Right. You know, since he was a kid, and that's your mother. Yeah. So and it's funny because People don't understand that that was the first person he went to in the episode to ask for money. Mm, if mm. she would have said yes, it'd have been good it, to go. It'd been good to go. Right. And he turned into what he knew best. Right. The scene right after with Tasha. Right. You know, so it's it the writing was brilliant and they allowed me to play a lot, man. I love it right now. We kicking the road, Timmy. Y'all keep it locked. We're gonna dig a little deeper into this episode, and we got to talk about this music, this tour in the motherland, and more. Yeah. Any breaking ground in Atlanta. We got to talk about that, too. I don't know if the IRS listening, but we're going to do it. <laughs> it's how I want to seven out of move. Spoiler alert to anybody who didn't watch last night's episode. I'm going to give you about three seconds to turn your radio down, off, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and stop listening, all right? Here we go. Yeah. Last night, when you see that uh, your eventual demise, yeah. what's going through your head? As an actor? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, bro. I, oh, look, the cameraman, he didn't see the episode. <laughs> Oops, I told you, spoiler alert. That's what happens in radio. <laughs> All right, man, let's get to it. What happened, bro? Uh, for me, bro, it was a, it was a mixture of emotions because that was my last scene, mm-hmm. and I knew it was done. Yeah. But I also knew that it was the beginning of something because that was the same day that my manager texted me that, you know, Love Rhythm and, and, and Welcome Me just went number one on iTunes. Wow. Say it again for the people at the back. Yeah. Number one on iTunes the same day. It was the last, you know, the last day, man. And and that, that I don't know, feeling of hot and cold right. that quick, it was like, you know, God was like, man, I, I got you. Don't mm-hmm. worry about nothing. And it was a family, man. You put, you put six years into something. Right. And you know it's iconic. It's legendary. And it comes to an end, you're just more excited for what's next. I love it, man. Right now, we kicking to a road, Timmy. We talking about his his role as Dre on Power. Uh, one one last question on that, because we got to get to the music and some other things. Let's get it. Oh, uh, man. That scene with you and Lorenz take. Yeah. Well, he was at, oh, you leaned into it, huh? Yeah. Was that ad lib, bro? Nah, nah, nah. It, that writing. wasn't the scene. The, but, he, yo, he's so <laughs> ill, bro. He's so ill. Like, he'll take something and make it crazy. You right. know what I mean? Like, a legend, and I learned so much. And he's he's a brother for life from mm-hmm. of mine. But like, 
I learned so much from him, like just how to be professional, yeah. how to be in the, your own individual on set. And he's just he's just a special actor, man. I sure. love that, man. Yeah. You, you seem like you got so many uh, relationships that are priceless from that, just being on that. You're talking about uh, with Omari yeah. uh, 50 yeah. uh, that you don't owe money to. <laughs> we cleaned that up, yeah. right? <laughs> At all, yeah. And, and Lorenz Tate, to be yeah. around those type of legends and for them to kind of like pull you in to, to give you the game, man. How yeah. did that make you? Uh, bro, I've never taken an acting class, bro. So they were my mentors, mm. you know, and still are, you know. So I remember breaking down movies. Me, me and Omari would go to the movies a couple years ago, mm. and he'll say, why did he make this decision in the theater? Why did he do this? Look at his eyes. Da -da -da -da. And that's how I was learning. Gotcha. Lorenz, you know, teaches me his, his because of his history and, yeah. and, and how to be a professional, how to take care of your family while and your money mm. while being an actor. Nice. You know, 50, again, showed me how to be a renaissance man. Right. You know, so they all did different things, and they all still doing different things for me. 